This isn't what it seems, really. Look, it all started about two weeks ago. I was organising the perfect job. It couldn't fail. Why? Because I had a plan that was foolproof. I put together the best team. Three individuals, all of them experts in their field. There was Madame Pavlova, the quartermaster. Whatever took your fancy, she could get it. Madame Pavlova was wanted all over Europe for some of the biggest jobs. There was the explosives expert, Lucy Chang. She could make any job go off with a bang, literally. And finally, DJ Fontana, known around the traps as the hitman, just to keep everyone on their toes. We met in an abandoned warehouse on the east side. First, we synchronised phones. Lucy, what have you got? 1610. Fontana? Uh, 1610. Madame Pavlova? 1610. We all had the 1610, which was just as well. Otherwise, this video wouldn't make much sense. Mm, OK. Yeah, it's Finnish. Matt. Pardon? Oh, it's Finnish is Matt. No, I mean it's made by Finns. Nokia is a Finnish company with a worldwide reputation for creating great-looking, easy-to-use mobile phones with a human touch. Technology that brings people together. Like us. Yeah, people like us. Wait a minute. What exactly are we supposed to do with these Nokia 1610s? We're about to pull off a very complex operation, the results of which should be extremely rewarding for all of us. So we don't want any mistakes, do we? The Nokia 1610s you've all been issued with are going to make us a highly effective mobile team, capable of accomplishing whatever has to be accomplished. The easy-to-use advanced features of the 1610 will make not only this operation, but all future operations complete successes. OK? OK, uh, I was just asking. I ran the team through the basics. Know your Nokia, people. The Nokia 1610 is a digital communications device. Digital means the signal is much clearer than analog. Like uh, CD versus vinyl. Exactly. And even more importantly for our purposes, it's more secure. What do you mean, secure? Well, unlike analog, there's no way anyone can listen in and spoil our fun. The 1610 is powered by a battery. To attach the battery, slide it upwards until it locks. To remove it, depress the locking catch, slide the battery down and lift it away from the phone. Hey, cool. Someone left their credit card in here. That's your SIM card. I knew that. The 1610 will only work if it has a valid SIM card. It simply slides out and slides in. But make sure the golden connector on the SIM is face down. What does the SIM stand for? That's not important. What is important is that the SIM card contains all the vital identification information required by your network. Your billing details, security codes, along with all your phone numbers and names. So, with one of these, You'll never forget who your friends are. Exactly. The SIM card is the personality of your phone. You can use your SIM card in each other's phones and all your information and details will travel with you. Of course, when the battery's empty, you charge it up with this. What's that? A fast battery charger. I knew that. A normal charge on a standard battery takes 55 minutes, but the first charge will take 16 hours. To make sure you get optimum performance from your battery, Run it until it's completely empty, then recharge it until it's completely full. Now, turn to the front of your phone. In the top right-hand corner, you may notice the on-off button. This... Turns the phone on and off. Very good. Press it down, and the phone comes on. If you get a call, you can answer it by hitting any key. The two most important keys after the on-off button are the send key and the end key. To make a call, enter the number, then press the send key. That's the one with the little green phone symbol on it. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yo, I am having the most wonderful time. Hey, come on, hang up now. Oh. Oh, oh. The keypad lock 
effectively locks the keypad. This stops you accidentally hitting a key and making a call. To activate or deactivate the padlock, press menu, then the asterisk key in quick succession. Now you can do this, or this, hey! without accidentally ringing anyone. Although you can still receive incoming calls while the keypad is locked. How come I'm still here and ringing? If you have any technical problems with the 1610, there's a list of accredited service centres in your welcome pack. Now, are there any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Go ahead. I know a lot of important people in this city. Movers, shakers. I'm tight with the four families. Mr. Big, Ms. Big, Master Big. You know what I'm saying? You know the Big family, so? Shouldn't Master Big be called Master Little? So, uh, I got a lot of names and numbers, see? Your point being? I want to put them in the phone. Oh, I see. Well, you don't actually store them on the phone. They're stored on the SIM card. And depending on your network, you can store up to 199 names and numbers. More than enough for the entire extended big family. All right. How? Well, it's easy. Enter the number, then press the ABC key to select name mode. Then use the keypad to enter your contact's name. And press the memory key marked M to store it onto the SIM card. Your phone automatically assigns the next empty memory spot on your SIM card. Once they had the basics, I started explaining to them the plan. My plan. Well, OK, it wasn't my plan, but what did they know? OK, there are two things we all need to learn to pull this job off. One is the map, the other is the method. What kind of job is this anyway? Ah, it's a surprise. The Nokia 1610 has a set of functions arranged in menus and submenus. At any time, you can check or change the setting of a particular function by using a very simple method. I call it the menu method. Ah, I have used this method before. Really? Where? Various restaurants on the continent. It's very bad telephone etiquette to use your mobile phone in a restaurant. Oh, I prefer the buffet method anyway. There are only three keys you need to use for the menu method. These are... The menu key, the scroll key, and the key marked M. Got that, Fontana? Hey, what? You better pay attention, because once we get out there, it's every man for himself. And if you get left behind, well, you're just going to miss the party. Yeah, all right. Jeez, I'm sorry. OK, let's look at the menu map. There are nine menu functions. To access any of these functions, press the menu key, then scroll up or down using the scroll key. To select a function, press M. Then scroll through the sub-menu items. To select one, press M again. Now scroll to the option you require. And once again, press M to select it. It's easy. Just remember, menu, scroll to search, M to choose. Repeat after me, everyone. Menu, menu scroll, scroll to, to search, search M, M to choose. Menu, scroll to search, M to choose. Menu, scroll to search, M to choose. Menu, scroll to search, M to choose. Menu, scroll okay, to search. that'll do. There'll be plenty of time for that after the job. OK, let's look at an example. Scroll through to the phone settings menu and press M to choose. Scroll through that and you'll see all the different functions you can change. Each of these has a further sub-menu. Let's pick ringing type. Press M to choose. And you'll see five different ringing sounds. Ooh. Pick a ringtone and press M. <sighs> OK. Any questions? I have a question. There are a lot of unsavory types around here. 
What's to stop some common criminal stealing my phone and SIM card and fencing the phone for use with another SIM card? Good question. Nokia have made it much harder for thieves to use a stolen Nokia Digital. The 1610 has two security functions, one for the SIM card and one for the phone itself. You can set up both of these by using the menu method to access the security options menu. Set up your card's PIN code now. Choose PIN code request and press M. Enter the four digit number given to you by your network operator, then press M again to choose request on. You can always change this number to something more memorable like your birthday and month. Once you've entered your new number, just press M to choose. Now if someone picks up your phone, turns it on and tries to use it, they have to get past your PIN code first. But, but what if someone who knows your birthday tries to use your phone? Like, like your mother. And pick someone else's birthday, like Elvis's. Yeah, good idea. So, what about the phone security number? Aha, uh -huh. now this is very interesting. If your phone is stolen, a thief can remove your SIM card and replace it with another one. So you must make sure that the phone security number is always on. This number links your phone to your SIM card. So if someone tries to put in their card, they have to get past your five-digit code. Hey, that's smart. Does it self-destruct too? Unfortunately, no. The initial five-digit security number is given to you by Nokia. There should be two copies of this number together with your serial number on a sticker in your box. Now use the menu method to go back to the security options menu. Scroll to security level option. Press M and enter your security code. At the moment it says no security, so scroll down to phone security and press M to choose. You can always change the security code too, but it's very important that you remember it. If you forget it, a Nokia service center has to reset your phone. So why don't you use the same number as your pin and put a zero in front of it? They think of everything, don't they? Hey. Well, it will certainly put thieves off stealing Nokias. In the unlikely event your phone is stolen, the first thing you do is contact your network. They'll block the SIM from any further calls. Now that they knew the method, my three experts each went about their individual tasks, getting everything they needed for the job. Hello, Igor. It's Madame Pavlova. Ah, spasibo, Corosso, and you? Now, good. Da. Da. Igor, guess what? I'm calling you on my new mobile phone, a Nokia 1610. Really? You have a Nokia 1610, too? Hey, but you're in means. Oh, really? You can take your Nokia 1610 overseas and use it there. Incredible. Those fins are so ingenious. Igor, I need a shipment for a big job. Da. Net, net, it has to be black. Remember what happened last time. Dead, all of them. You have it? Good. How much? Igor, you've got to be kidding. Who do you think I am? Saddam Gaddafi? Oh, spasiba for nothing, buddy. Oh, you've got a customer willing to take the whole shipment. They can have it. I'm calling Nadia Novgorod. Nadia, Madame Pavlova, I need some supplies. The bled. Oh, they used it in Dublin, in Tehran, and the World Trade Center. Well, I'm very impressed. How much? That's twice as much as Igor. Yes, I know it's a free market now. Goodbye. Ah, nothing worse than an ex-communist. Igor. Igor, Igor, where are you, Igor? Use the phone, Madame Pavlova. Use the phone. Of course. 
The 1610 remembers the last 10 numbers you called. Press send, scroll to the number you want, and hit send again to dial. Press send. Scroll to the number. Then press send again to dial. Igor, Igor, you still have the shipment? Oh, good, I'll take it. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, Igor. Da. Ha, ha, da. Da, da, da. <laughs> Meanwhile, the hitman was doing some last-minute business with a couple of shady customers. You DJ Fontana? You talking to me? What? I said, are you talking to me? Well, there ain't nobody else here. Then I must be DJ Fontana. We got something for you, Fontana. Oh, what? They say you're the hitman. That's what they call me. Then take a look at these little beauties. This one here, it's fast, it's loud, and believe me, it's deadly. Hey, I like it. I'll take it. What about this one? Yeah, it's not so fast, but it packs a hell of a punch. I'll take it, too. Yo, DJ Fontana. Yeah, I'm the hitman. You want me to organize a few hits for you next Thursday? Yeah, I think I can fit you in. Okay, bye. Hey, look, if you're too busy, we got other customers, you know? No, 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 no. It's okay. Cool. What about this one? This one here is a very popular item. You could say it's number one with a bullet, if you know what I mean. How's it got? Like a bomb. Anyone within a radius of 100 meters, we blow the one. Hey, yo, DJ Fontana. Mum? Yeah, I'm told you never to call me at work. Yeah, I'm wearing them. Yeah, I put a clean pair on this morning. You're not joking us around with these phone calls, are you, Fontana? Uh, no, no way. I, I, I can fix it. Uh, remember the method, Fontana. Remember the method. <laughs> Menu. Scroll to search. Aha! I call the vert. Press M to select. The call divert sub-menu, scrolling through the sub-menu options. Divert all. If busy, if no reply, if not available, cancel all. Divert all. Yeah. Good idea, thanks. <laughs> Press M to choose, scrolling through the setting options. Activate divert. Press M. Phone number. You got a voicemail number? Yeah. It's stored in my voicemail key. Now uh, you just key in the number, press M to choose, and press the voicemail key button. Then why don't you divert your call to the voicemail box, Einstein? Hey, yeah, good idea. You. Yeah, you. Want to know more about how to get your voicemail number? Ring your network operator for details. These 1610s are amazing little gadgets. I'd be in deep trouble without them. Yeah, speaking of which... Hey! No, 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 fellas, no, please! We don't go nowhere without our 1610s. <laughs> yeah, me too. Now, where was we? You were about to agree to buy our entire collection. I was? Yeah, you was. By this stage, I was beginning to get a little jumpy. I called Lucy to see how the explosives were going. Hello? No, 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 I'm just cowering under the table. It's an occupational hazard. How are the explosives? Are they in place yet? I don't know, I have my assistants out there at the moment. Why don't I ring them? I don't think that's a good idea. There's no tables out there for them to dive under. Yeah, well, they could be trying to call me now, but I'm talking to you, so they wouldn't get through. Fortunately, I have my 1610 set to divert if busy to my page of service. And I'm getting a message now. Bang, 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 bang. Amanda, no, I'm all right. It wasn't an explosion. That was the message. It's in code. 
It means the explosives are in place and ready to go. Of course I'll delete the message. Yes, I know how to do it. What was it again? C4, delete, and M to choose. Yeah, okay. Amanda, the evidence has been destroyed. Finally, it was D-Day. The day that we did the job. Sorry. Target is in position. Commence operation hit back. Hey, what's the big egg? What's going on? Hey! Hey, easy! The job was a complete success, thanks to my foolproof plan and the Nokia 1610. Then, they're just having a little post-party nap. Come on, you lot, it's champagne breakfast time. And him, he's just one of the guests. So that's how you perform a citizen's arrest. Thanks, Sergeant, I'll remember that. Hey, come on! Come on. Come on. I better go. But before I do, if you've enjoyed this film, then you really should read the book it's based on. The Nokia 1610 User's Guide even better. Goodbye and happy phoning! Oh!